the Calle de la Cabeza. Pérez Galdós called it the saddest in Madrid and perhaps the most tragic. He said that it had a mala sombra that would freeze you where you stood. Galdós compared it, he said that people and streets both have faces and when the face is as sinister and nasty as this one is, then people should just go about their business and not stop here and indulge in their curiosity. But I'm too curious to listen to Pérez Galdós and I want to know exactly what happened here. In times of Felipe III, there lived a rich priest from a very good family. He had everything his heart could desire, but this attracted the greed, the covetousness of his servant, his Portuguese servant. One night, the servant entered his master's bedchamber, killed the poor unsuspecting priest, cut off his head, then, he took everything he could get his hands on, all the gold, and made his way back to Lisbon. Suspicions automatically fell on the servant, but, as we say in English, out of sight, out of mind. And the Lusitanian murderer got away with his crime and the money. Years later, a rich merchant moved to Madrid. It was none other than the disloyal servant, made rich by stolen gold. One day, the man was walking along this street, and he saw a butcher's stall. There, he saw a ram's head, and he had a sudden caprice. He wanted to buy the ram's head, take it home, and tell his cook to prepare it for dinner. The butcher wrapped the head in a sack of arpiera, of burlap, and gave it to the merchant. The merchant placed it under his cape and started to go home. But the sack began to drip blood, and it left such a long trail of blood behind him that people were shocked. A corchete, or bailiff, uh, the police of the time, a corchete was very, very suspicious about this and started to follow the trail until he came to the merchant. He said to the merchant, what is under your cape? The merchant said, oh, this, this is just a, a ram's head that I plan to eat for lunch. The corchete said, well then, you wouldn't mind showing it to me, would you? The merchant took the head out of the sack and was horrified to discover that it was the head of the very priest that he himself had killed. The man was immediately arrested. He was taken, tried near the Plaza Mayor, and then hanged. They say that the moment he was executed, the head of the priest immediately and miraculously transformed itself once again into the head of the ram. Naturally, people stopped buying the meat that was sold along this street, and all the butchers had to move over to the Calle del Cordero a little further down the hill. <laughs>